Let's determine the antiderivative of this secant to the power of 4x. What is it? Start here with this identity. You know it. Tan square x plus 1 is always equal to secant square x. You bring it in over here. You have here a secant square x times a secant square x dx. You will bring this right over here. Bring in your item. You're looking at a secant square x times tan square x plus 1, then dx. Multiply everything across, distribute it, and then we'll separate our integrals across a positive sign. When you do that, you'll be looking here at the secant square x tan square x dx. That's one item, as you see. Then you'll be looking here at the other item across a positive sign in a separate integral, secant square x dx, because it multiplied with this 1. The antiderivative from here is easy. The derivative of tan x is secant square x, therefore the antiderivative from here is going to be what? It will be tan x. Easy. Now we're coming over here, we'll do u substitution. If u is equal to tan x, we know here du is equal to secant square x dx, so for dx, dx is equal to du over secant square x. This will cancel out with that. You'll bring in your u over here. You are looking here at a u squared du. And it's easy, you're looking at a u cube over 3, but you resubstitute your u. Your end result antiderivative is a tan cube x over 3 plus this item you see, tan x plus c. This here is our antiderivative of secant to the power of 4x. It should be correct.